Hello everyone, welcome to Kitec Technologies Private Limited. This is a demo of TDM Pulse Amplitude Modulation and Demodulation Kit that is ACT03. This trainer board has inbuilt power supply, the onboard frequency generator which provides variable amplitude synchronized sine wave each of frequency 250 Hz, 500 Hz, 1 kHz and 2 kHz. An amplitude variable DC 0 to 5 volt synchronous level provided. Next, sampling clock of 32 kHz and 8 kilohertz channel in identification frequency is generated from 6.144 megahertz crystal. The transmitter section consists of 4 analog input channel with 4 pole IC switches or multiplexers that provides sampling and TDM of each channel using PAM signals. Transmitter and receiver are synchronized with transmitter clock and transmitter channel, receiver clock and receiver channel which are generated with this PLL circuitry. The receiver section consists of 4 pole analog switches or the demultiplexes that demultiplexes the each channel. Then 4 number of Fourth order low pass filter is provided that filters out the sampling frequency component and helps in reconstruction of the original signal. Now we will see the experiment of time division multiplexing using PAM signals. For that connect 4 input from the frequency generator to the 4 analog input of the transmitter. Now connect channel 1 of the CRO to input channel 0 of transmitter. Channel 2 of the CRO is connected to the time division multiplexed output of the transmitter. Now we'll switch on the kit. First channel is the input modulating signal. Second channel is its pulse amplitude modulation signal. Now as the TDM, the concept of TDM is to transmit many numbers of signals through one channel. This is the second channel. This is the third one and this is the fourth. Four number of channel are transmitted through the single channel. Now we will see the demodulation of this signal. For that connect the transmitter output to the input of the receiver. Transmitter channel 0 to receiver channel 0 and transmitter clock to receiver clock. As the first channel of the CRO is connected to channel 0 of the transmitter, we will connect the second channel of the Z CRO to the demultiplex channel 0 of the receiver. This is the input modulating signal and this is its reception. As the amplitude of the input changes, correspondingly the amplitude of output changes. Now we will see the second channel reception. This is input of variable amplitude and 500 Hz. As the input changes, the corresponding output also changes.
this is of 1 kilohertz this is of 2 kilohertz as we see four analog input are transmitted through one single channel and they are received respectively here we have connected transmitter channel and transmitter clock directly to receiver channel and receiver clock one can generate this receiver channel and receiver clock through this PLL circuit hence we perform the experiment of time division multiplexing using PAM signal thank you